What's up, y'all? It's Anglers and it's Bob Sun TV. And the day we got the reason that Big Jug passed away, the reason they got Big Jug out of there. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 200K subscribers. Get this story out there to the people, though, y'all. Because I've been told y'all this months ago. If y'all don't know, go back, type in Anglers and Bob Sun TV, Big Jug, and it's going to explain the beginning of this. But I tried to tell y'all months ago, but I'm going to break down the reason that Big Jug passed away. And I'm gonna get out a young Dolph trial and a lot going on. Just move with the channel. Sorry, I've been gone a couple days. I've been just enjoying a little break, a little vacay. I'm back now, though, y'all. Let's turn it back up. So, the reason Juke passed away, as y'all know, Juke is your guy, brother. Juke is the CEO of CMG. Juke went to jail. Gotti held CMG down, did it. Everything got it to Rock Nation, build it to beyond you, your biggest dreams. Big Jug came home, got the manager position. He big, bruh. He gonna run the business and get in his part, his position. And he gonna take over some artists and do what he do. So, Jug running CMG. I did home from jail. Welcome home, Jug. He running CMG. He in the mix. They getting into it with Dolph. Yeah, I know they getting into it with Dolph. They got the Dolph beef going on. Dolph, numerous occasions that happened to Dolph. Y'all know already through the CMG was going on with Dolph. We don't got to break down that CMG and I'm getting into it with Dolph. So this is what happened. Yo Gotti is signing a Rock Nation. Rock Nation is a billion dollar business. They do a lot of business. Jay-Z is the owner of Rock Nation CEO. Yo Gotti is signing to Jay-Z's Rock Nation. So if Yo Gotti name or any of his businesses, anything happen, it comes to on Yo Gotti. Anything that goes on Yo Gotti rolls over on Rock Nation because it's a Rock Nation artist. And it goes to High Power. Whoever signed Rock Nation, whoever Rock Nation got a contract with Live Nation. Rock Nation might be the highest of total poto. So just say Rock Nation. It all represent them all. So if Yo Gotti go to jail for allegedly putting a hit out on somebody or being around a hit, it's going to mess up so much money because it's so much business involved. Think about this. Yo Gotti is signed to Rock Nation. Rock Nation got business with CMG. They own them, basically. They distribute through them. Them distributing through them means CMG, Gorilla, Moneybag, Yo. Who else? Black Youngster. Who else? Whoever over CMG, 42, does all the CMG artists. They go the money go to the money go to uh Rock Nation and Rock Nation get paid pays uh what's it called CMG and CMG distributed to the artists but Rock Nation is the powerhouse of Rock Nation on Yo Gotti and Yo Gotti own CMG so if Yo Gotti owns something the person who own him own that too you feel what I'm saying they get percentages. So long story short, all this money being made by all these artists, this is a hundred million dollar business. This guy he got a lot of artists is on their feet and all that. So, Gotti can't go to jail or be connected to that because once the feds come get your Gotti, he goes down. Then the business, the system is just off. Like, Gorilla, all that money, money bag, yo, all that. They make hundreds of millions of dollars off them artists. So, before this get back to Yo Gotti and the feds grab your Gotti, Something got to happen to make this all go away. It's only one play to make this all go away. Now let me break y'all down with Juke coming to play at. Juke put a hit out on Young Dolph. I don't know if Gotti knew or Gotti didn't know. I don't know the measurements of did Gotti know about it or didn't know about it. The hit went so bad, got so loose that it came back to CMG. It came back to the direct source. It came straight back to Jill. Now the feds is involved. The feds are into these text messages. They into everything. They got all the suspects. The suspects are willing to tell everything. So they sit down. They tell them. They build an investigation. Big Jill is the known suspect. It's Bob and Son TV. And the day we live from it, we live from the bedroom. I had to whip this up nice and fast for y'all. My fast. My bad. Let me get an angle right. So today we got the Big Juke story. If y'all know who Big Juke is, Big Juke is your Gotti big brother. The news reports coming out that he passed away. 
He was shot at a funeral repast. I feel like I got an inside man. I'm not saying these credible sources or uncredible sources, but I got a source that told me it was a back door. My Memphis man told me it was a back door. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all think of it like this. From the blogs, we all been seeing it. Like all the people been seeing it. Everybody been saying Big Juke name been connected to this young Dolph situation. CMG been connected to the situation. Rico been coming. The people that been locked up been in jail snitching. So allegedly, Juke signed off to get a made man knocked off. The made man is young Dolph. Yo, God, he got so much going on. He worth millions of dollars. He got a million dollar business going on. His brother just came home from jail. He still like be doing his things, but Juke is powerful as Gotti, but he ain't got more money than Gotti. Gotti is the foundation. Gotti held it down while Juke was in jail. So Gotti had to come up with the decision. Gotti is thinking, we going to jail. The Rico is coming. The streets know this. The world know this. We just don't know what day is coming, but we know it's coming. Only way you can get out this Rico is Juke die and blame it all on Juke. Y'all don't be in CMG. Y'all don't be around them. Y'all don't know what's going on inside the family. I heard this from a source's mouth. It's friction inside the family. Like, they ain't been seeing eye to eye. They can't really talk on the phone because the feds are listening. They can't really. But they ain't been seeing eye to eye. Snake shit going on around inside the circle. Juke, no snake things been going on inside the circle. Juke see it all. Juke been distancing itself. Juke just posted a picture yesterday by itself in the caption. Read the caption of the picture. The picture say, like, watch out for the snakes. Basically, he knew something was about to happen. He just ain't know how fast would happen. The next day, the next post, the next day he passed away. Get you back to that story we told you about off the top of the broadcast, a deadly shooting in Hickory Hill with connections to Memphis rapper Yo Gotti. Fox 13's Lakia Scott joins us live tonight from St. Francis Hospital. That's where the victims were taken. Lakia, what were you able to find out? Good evening to you. Good evening, Daniel. Well, at least five police sources have confirmed with Fox 13 that the person killed is Anthony Mims, also known as Big Jook. Now, Big Jook is the brother of rapper Yo Gotti. Now, we were at that scene earlier tonight. Police say two men were shot outside Perion's restaurant and event center around 4:15. Now that's on Winchester near Kirby. According to the Memphis Police Department, the victim was inside a vehicle at the time and was brought here to St. Francis Hospital, where he was pronounced deceased. Now I'm also learning there was a second person who was shot and was also taken to the hospital. It has not been confirmed who the second person is, but we do know it is a man, and he was airlifted to Regional One in critical condition. Now the Memphis Police Department spoke with us today in a press conference. Let's listen. Right now we do have video that we're analyzing, but we don't have a clear suspect identified at this time. But we know that a, a weapon was used, a, a firearm was used in this incident. Um, it, we do feel like the individual that was uh, shot was possibly targeted by the suspect. Can you tell us whether one of the victims is Yogati's brother? I can't confirm anything yet. Now, again, at least five police sources confirmed with Fox 13 that the person killed is Anthony Mims, also known as Big Jook. Big Jook, again, is the brother of rapper Yo Gotti. Now, according to police, there is at least one shooter. Were you recently injured in a car accident? But there may be more involved. Daniel. Fox 13's Lakia Scott starting our live coverage off at 9 with major breaking news. Lakia, thanks. But long story short, they know the feds coming. Yo, Gotti about to lose everything. He get locked up on the Rico and everything. If Juk mysteriously die, they can blame it all on Juk. And the, the Rico die with Juk. Everything die with Juk. Juk name on this morning, anybody. That's the only way out of it. That's what the streets are saying. Of Memphis is what my source is saying. So... It happened at a repass at a funeral. You just think about this. Just be real, y'all. Dolph got knocked off in Memphis. He in Memphis. The whole world know Juke supposed to be at that funeral repass with 20 people on eyeballs. Like, if anything can happen, it can happen there. So it ain't going to happen there because you're going to be most prepared there, right? He loose. He with his family. He moving loose. He at the repass. He got the security around him. He got everything he need, but you can't duck a back door, could you? No. Everybody keeps saying it was a shootout. It was this, that, and the third. It was meant for Juke to die, and Juke died. I don't give a 
I make it look, it still happened. The plan was for Juke to die and Juke died. I don't care how it happened. It could have been a shootout, anything. It just ain't going as planned, but it went as planned. So my source telling me that it been friction in between the family and they came up with an idea like, man, we're going to get this man up out of here. Just get him up out of here. And the investigation going to lead the Juke back to Juke and us. But man, if it was to get caught, we used to get blocked up, man. We're going to have to put it all on Juke. That's just what it is. That's part of the game. It's a dirty game out here. Yo, God, he about to blow up, though, y'all. And it's a part of he made the sacrifice. And in his situation, he about to take off. His career still got juice to it. Like, now we still looking at it. Now all eyes on Yo, God, we want to see what's about to happen next. You feel what I'm saying? It was a play. It was all put together. That's what I was told from my soul. So everybody thinking everybody will get back. But I'm a young dog fan. If I, I ain't can't pick no size, I'm just a I'm just a spectator just like y'all. But... I'm a young dog fan, man. Long live Flipper. All that's so wild. I feel like it's supposed to have been in the music, but yeah, y'all. That's what the streets is saying. So, I'm going to tell y'all how the story went. The FBI got up on Gotti and them and told them, told their lawyers, like, we coming. We'll be back. We don't know what day we coming, but we coming back. Like, it's hot. It's pressure on the people in jail snitching, talking about where they got the money from, who sent them, and all that. Juke posted the back door. Dolphin put the mood together. Gotti didn't really know till after it happened. And then he like told him, you feel what I'm saying? Put him on point. But the police was already involved in everything. Gotti wouldn't have signed off on that because his name was too far attached to it. He was like, forget it. He was, you know what I'm saying? He was still on that, but he wasn't on that. He didn't want it to happen that way. It was too messy. It happened so messy that Gotti was already happen having friction with Juke after it happened. But the police was on it. It's his brother. He can't put him out to the world. So they got their friction going on in the camp that nobody knows. That's between them two. But all you gotta do is read your last caption. He telling you it's some snakes around him. Like basically then you know they on some bull So he couldn't figure it out. So they lined him up perfectly. Jook gonna be at a repass in Memphis. He gonna be with the family. All you gotta do is catch him right here. Catch him right here to look like retaliation from something from Dolph. it will be off us. The investigation will die and all that. And if the investigation don't die and they do come with a Rico for CMG, And Yo Gotti on it. Yo Gotti lawyer so mean. They gonna blame everything on Juke. Dead man can't talk. They gonna get the uh, the evidence suppressed and everything. So it wouldn't even come out. It'd just be a closed case. Juke sent the hitters, got him, and Juke died behind it. Closed case is over and it's gone on. It's a politician move. They sat down in high places and people told him how to beat this case. It's a Rico coming. And the only way I feel like you could beat this is dead man can't talk and the next person connected to it. If it was to go super bad, we gonna blame it on him. Y'all ain't gotta believe me, but that's just the publicity. And the uh in the streets, that's just what's going on. That's just the publicity behind it. That's what they saying. It came from the Dolph things. That's just the publicity stunt. That's to get out of this situation. I'm not saying this is true. I'm not saying this is false. I heard this from my source. This is a reliable source. This is not a story that I know personally. I heard this from somebody and I was told to get it out to y'all. I'm a blogger. My dog wanna be on YouTube. Come on, Chanel. Okay. Okay. You can be on YouTube. Now get on, go. Let me finish making my little video and I'm coming. But yeah, other than that, I don't know what to say. How y'all feel about it? But everybody that was connected to this young dog situation, something happened to them. They been getting up on them. I'm just telling y'all, I'm glad I'm out the streets and all that. But if my friends don't do, like, I'm first of all, I don't live to 90 years old. Not even going to say this, but the guys that's in the street, if your friends ain't setting the tone, like, them Dolphins setting the tone, man. The Dolphins might win the Super Bowl. How high they going for Dolph? I'm just here to tell you, man. Tyreek Hill was plus 100 every game. You hear me? Put them boys on fans. Ooh. But still out of respect, man. Long live Juke. And the crazy part is, y'all, I know Big Juke personally, bro. I remember when he came home. I was on tour with your guy. He was Shaq Glizzy back in the day. I know Big Juke personally. But it was sad. All the situation is sad. Y'all see how it's all playing out. But this so evil it be high places y'all y'all gotta watch it it's the back door man i feel like it was a back door because that's the only way out of this way out of it sometimes it be family it be anything but you gotta make a decision how you gonna win in life people ain't trying to go to jail millionaires 16 years they might gotta make a sacrifice man that's just what happened out here in the world but we on our way to 100k subscribers man they said it was a back door so it's bus driver season y'all gotta make sure y'all watch yourself y'all know what that is when you on the, one of them buses you back hey bus driver back door you take the back door you don't take the front door man it was a bus driver at that funeral service and it was a back door i'm just here to tell you but make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel man we on our way to 100k subscribers long live big jump man cmg 
I don't know, bruh. But can I crack a joke? Yeah, I know I ain't supposed to crack a joke. But let me crack a joke. Yeah, I know I crack jokes. Hold on, dog. Chill out. Black youngster, all that gangster shooting in the stage, bullying, shot glizzy, all that she be doing to the rock gang, shooting at the camera and all that. You got to go get active, sir. Like, right now. I'm um, just here to tell you. You got to go with that AK. You better go do your thing. Boogie. It's time to boogie. Bomb, sir. The known person that put him on the move. So now everybody in the city or in the world, in the blogs, everybody was saying that CMG had something to do with it now when stuff started coming out. And it got hot in the streets. So now, Juke put this hit out. The feds is coming to get, they was thinking about Rico's, like the feds was coming, everybody was dying, their families who was connected to it. The feds was coming to get CMG, Juke and Yo Gotti. The, Juke would have been locked up right now if what wouldn't have happened to him. He'd have, been a, he'd have been locked up. They grabbed Juke, let him go. Long story short, they grabbed Juke, let him go. I don't know if Gotti and Juke got into it, after it got so messy and the police was all around flaming, washing all their business in CMG, everything now, niggas telling all that now, Gotti and Juke into it. Y'all don't know this, though. Juke throw up a caption. Some of y'all watch the people in your circle, something, something, something. But yo, Gotti been wanting this to happen all his life. He been waiting on this moment. Like, he been living for something to happen to Dolph. He prayed on it. Like, Keon locked up right now to this day. Got 25 years. I met Keon through yo, Gotti. That was Yo Gotti security guy. He got 25 years for a doll, some doll stuff. I don't even know. Like, it's crazy. So, him and Juke might have gotten into it behind the scenes. Long story short, it's a funeral coming up on one of the big homies in Memphis. Perfect timing. But think about this. If Juke does not pass away, Yo Gotti and Juke is locked up. Like, they going to jail. A hit came from CMG. Some CMG falls. The end of CMG. It's only one play that can happen for CMG not to fall and then not to be the end of it. Juke got to pass away and everything got to go on Juke. Everything. Like, if it came from Juke, it went on Juke. If you're looking into Yo Gotti, he get questioned anything. I don't know. Juke did it. Juke had some. Or, I don't know. You got to ask Juke. Can't ask Juke anything. That's his own, bro. That's just how the streets go. These are $100 million businesses, corporate organizations that they running. Can't no Rico come back that way. Can't none kind of way because no loose little hit in the hood that went loose. Yo Gotti going to lose it all. It's either your brother or lose it all. And y'all see what he picked. They got him at the funeral. Nobody else. They got just him. Ain't been no retaliation from it. You ain't been sent. It's just, it is what it is. They accepted it. Make it so smooth. This is a made man. He know what he did. They know what they did. Can't nobody get him after that happened but somebody in his camp, the back door. He's already militant in the brain. It's already set up. They, he's waiting on this. Only way it's not going to happen if an unmarked train shooter pull up in an unmarked police car, unmarked off-duty fed that can shoot good, know how to shoot with family in a car that can, first of all, they playing with millions of dollars. They can go get a resume of the best shooters in the world. Just get them to hit this back door in here, man. We're going to put Mom Dukes in here. We're going to put Mom Dukes in here, but we're going to put her in the front seat. So make sure you hit just the door so we can just get the jip and fall straight out of the truck. Make it seem like nobody that never did nothing with his mother in the truck. Perfect alibi, bro. I'm just here to say it's just a conspiracy theory. This is not real. This is just my assumption and my opinion on it because it went together like it supposed to went together. Once the feds got involved, and everybody was screaming, CMG, this, that, they better get a Rico, the police coming, this, that, and third. Juke got named as a suspect. They grabbed Juke, took Juke in. When they grabbed Juke, took Juke in, and let him go, they ain't have all the suspects at the time. Now they got all the suspects, suspects telling Juke. Juke would have been in court right now on trial, too. But Juke came home and told Gotti, what they asked him, what they saying, and what they had, like the questions they was asking him. God, he ain't like that shit. It's too close to home. Let's see if I'm going to lose the whole CMG behind this young dog murder, or it's going to all die with you. And what did it do? No matter what y'all say, no matter how much you connect your Gotti to this case right now, you can say his name a thousand times. Guess who said that? Chuck, go ask him. <laughs> it's a dirty game out here, y'all. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Y'all just got to be safe out here. I'm going to keep y'all updated. I'm about to make another video on the dog and the trial. But that's the reason Juke got took out, y'all. Juke sent the move. 
did it so sloppy. It was coming back on the home team. It was coming back on everything Gotti built from the, the ground. It was even Rico charge, get Juk, get Gotti, get everybody. He lose it all. Or Juk, you did it. It got to go with you. Juk ain't even know it was coming, though. I swear. He kind of felt it, though, because it was a post probably the day before he died. It was all in this post. All you do is read it. Probably his last post. is probably still up there. Just read it. He telling you something without telling you something. Snake's in his circle. He didn't say outside. He said in his circle. Y'all make sure y'all be safe. Bob on TV. Oh, my bad. I can't leave like that. Long live dog, man.